Let's see if this will boil or percolate. Wouldn't that be cool? I'll keep an eye on it. See if it'll see if it'll make coffee. I didn't intend to show this knife because uh, this is one of my first ones and it's just been one screw up after another and there's no fixing it. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's permanent, the screw up, because I've got it epoxied on there. But uh, maybe I can at least, and the handle, you know, I cut the handle way too skinny. This was my first or second attempt and I just found this one and the drawer bottom of that drawer over there and uh, so I took it out and this is the last blank that I have that I've done nothing with uh, I am going to make a sheath for this one today so what I did was uh, I don't even know what kind of wood this is I just had it laying around a little piece of it and I thought well I'll tell you what I'm going to glue this like that. It's not quite going to cover up the gap, so I'm just going to give up on that on that gap. That's just a mistake that everybody's going to see. So I'm going to epoxy this down, and then uh, try to shape it into a you know acceptable handle. And uh, this is a, actually a pretty big knife. This would make a, a good like camp knife to split wood and all that. If I can get this to stick and be somewhat, uh, to look somewhat like a, a handle. So uh, I gotta go, I have some more epoxy inside. Let me see, I had some epoxy that I threw away, but I think I had enough in it to do one more. Uh, I'll go in, I have another uh, thing of epoxy in the house. I'll go get that, get this set up and uh, put it in the vise. Hold it overnight. Tomorrow I'll shape that handle. What I really come out here to do was to uh, make this sheath. And uh, boy, I hope it, uh, I got this, still got this water on here. It's been about 20 minutes. Uh, it doesn't appear to be making any effort to percolate, but if it don't do it in about another 10 minutes, I'm fixing to shut it down because it's getting hot in here now. I'm uh, I'm still wearing shorts. Shorts and uh, sleeveless shirts. I got the door open and I got my wood stove on. You can probably hear the, probably hear the fan going. So uh, between this and the wood stove, it's pretty hot in here. Gotta be 80. All right, I'm gonna give this 10 more minutes. Uh, I'm gonna go in and get my epoxy uh, be right back. You stay here. No way. <laughs> That's too cool, man. 20 minutes. Uh, I don't believe it. 20 minutes and it's percolating. Uh, oh, I got it filled up about two thirds of the way. So maybe not quite a quart of water in there probably three quarters of a quart maybe two thirds of a quart anyway over half a quart of water in there and it's percolating yes percolating good now far out I can't believe it well uh, that table is gonna be handy so now if I set a can of spam over here to the side with a lid off of it I bet you in 20 minutes I could have me a Coffee and spam. I mean, come on, you can live on that. Wow. All right. <clears throat> Maybe that'll look better. I'm never gonna, you know, that gap's too. It's too late for the gap. But uh, maybe I can. Maybe I can make the rest of the handle look so pretty, it'll take your eyes away from that big gaping gap. We'll see. All right. Now I gotta clean the adhesive off my hands and get to work on the leather. Well, that come out. I finally figured out a, a little trick to make this a little easier to uh, I held this together with a rubber cement right here. And I let it dry. 
And then I put this on my band saw and cut this out. And uh, damn, it didn't come out better than any I've done so far. Now I gotta lace it up with this. And uh, this knife will be done. All right, I'm hoping I can hold this in the view of the camera. I just wanted to show you how I lace this up. First, let me show you what I use. Craft tool, quarter inch, oval shaped punch. And this is just some uh, quarter inch latigo. And I just make sure that the crossover is pretty square in the back. I'm no expert. I'm really new at this, but uh, I've done this before. I'll do one more. Okay, I hope you saw that. I don't know if it was in the viewfinder or not. I'll show you this when it's finished. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, the sheets I'm getting a little better at. The knives I'm still working on. I've got, uh, that's it. I think I'm gonna make a knife out of this tomorrow. It's not gonna be that. <clears throat> I don't really like that. I'll turn it over, turn it over, and draw something else out. And tomorrow, I will finish this. Yeah, it's not hard enough yet. And, uh, it's not going to be pretty, and I'm. But I think I will make a sheet for it just because I do have some leather. And uh, you know, if you're giving it to somebody, uh, you know, it's got. It's not going to be the best knife I've ever done. It's going to be the first knife I started and the last knife I finished. And if you're giving it to someone, uh, I don't think they'll mind that it doesn't look pretty. That it'll be sharp though. Uh, <laughs> I've already, well it's already healed up. But uh, no, right there. I cut myself just picking it up. Which is why I'm leaving this rag over it just so I don't bump into it. I can see myself turning around and piercing myself right through the heart of that thing. But uh, <clears throat> it's dark 30, and uh, I'm going in for the night. Time to eat some groceries. See you in the morning. How could anyone not love a dog?
you're a good boy.